video is going to be my biggest brain balloon creations and I got quite a lot. They're not like humongous, humongous, like a poodle, like one of those big, huge poodles, you, you know what I mean? But they are quite big and like hand size and some are a bit bigger. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's just get on to the video. First type this Happy Dango and this is inspired by Phil and Spiffy's version of the Dango. Um, this is a very very big, it's like this size of my hand almost and um, it did take a lot of bands and a lot of time to make and of course it's rainbow and a lot of questions have been asked like how many bands, how long did it take, like how big it is and this is extremely big, um, it's like practically my biggest ever creation. Next I have a few from Craft Life, so it's this um, penguin in it. Um, <clears throat> sorry about that. I have um, a bow that I made for actually the Happy Cupcake from Feeling Spiffy Design, but I put it on this girl penguin. It used to be a boy, but now it's a girl, I guess. Next, I have this really skinny one. I try to make it as long as I can, and I love how their eyes are so big. And it's just really cute. I love this one a lot, although the like bottom, it's just kind of it's annoying having the fluff seeable if you know what I mean. Also from Craft Life I have this cute little um, owl and I did do the wings and the um, feet myself because her version was just a bit I didn't really like it so I made it like mine and I think the cute little feet turned out beautifully. Lastly I have this cupcake and I just made the cupcake and I decided to add eyes so it's like a cupcake, but it doesn't have like mouth or anything. But it's really cute though. So this is my first time getting to um, Lumigroomy. I think that's how you say it. I'm not too sure. But I've been getting into it. I like Looming, but um, I wanted to try it like just with the hook. It's just kind of like a design where you just do it on the hook. And it's really easy as soon as you get the hang of it, but it's just like really repetitive. But it's actually quite quick as soon as you get the hang of it. So there's a Pokeball. Next I have this Poodle and can I just say this took forever to make. It took me around three days to make and it's because I guess you need to make all the separate little feet and bibs and bobs. So here's like the mouth and you can open the mouth and it has like a pink tongue. And it has cute little Poodle ears and then a cute little tail. So there's a little poodle. I have this octopus from Feeling Spiffy's Happy Animal Designs. It has eight legs if you want to count. But it is really quite big actually and could like sit on your desk and I de definitely recommend you to check out her designs because it's just so cute. Also I have this Hello Kitty from Feeling Spiffy Designs and the dress is removable. Um, I have a few from Feel and Spiffy's designs because they are quite big creations. There's Hello Kitty. Next is this Minion and um, I actually made this before I went to go see the Minion movie. And I did use the Lumigroomy effect on the eyes. And it is removable. Yes, it is a bit creepy. But it's like a little necklace. And this is not Feel and Spiffy's design. That's why it looks a bit different. I made this before she actually uploaded a video. But... Yeah, I made this before, but it was um, inspired by her method, her looming method. Next is this cute llama, and I did show this in my um, last video. That was my tips and tricks on rainbow loom for beginners. So I definitely recommend you to go check that out. Next is this happy um, rainbow, and this is quite big for a rainbow. I mean, um, it is so cute and very, like... I just, it just turned out perfect. So is that one? Next are these two bottles and these are quite cute. This is not from um, Feel and Spiffies but it's the same looming method. Uh, comment down below your favourite, the water bottle or the coke bottle. I like the water bottle. Actually I like the coke bottle. I don't know but comment down below. Next I made a video. Um, if you guys want to check it out, I definitely recommend you check it out. I'll link it down below and it is a tutorial on how to make a noodle. This is my original noodle. It is extremely long and I definitely check, recommend you check it out. So yeah. Next I made this hairband and it was from like the mustache 
I forgot what it's called. He's a fly, but it's like the mustache. I forgot what it was, but it's like a hairband, and of course my head was really small back then. So very nice design though. I did not make this one, but it is from my best friend Zoe. She made this for me and she gave it to me, and I was like, nah, -uh, you should keep it, but she gave it to me. But it is such a pretty design and she like did it so well. But I kind of like this design more. And it has just a simple chain like that. Last two, I have this humongous um, starburst that I did on I think four looms of the four like pink type looms. It actually didn't take quite long, it was quite easy. So they're like the rainbow colors and I actually like to put it on the dango like this and just like tie it on because it kind of looks like a sweatband like he's running. I don't know but yeah. Lastly is this huge fish towel and I made this while I was watching like a football game. But it was like oh my gosh. It was like so long. I really love the colors though. really like this color but it's really pretty. So um, they're all my creations, that like my biggest creations so far. I hope you guys enjoyed, thumbs up, subscribe for more, and um, comment down below video suggestions because I really want to post what you guys want. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye!